thank you so much for talking to us. This is a slightly peculiar, unusual way of doing an interview. Um, we are living in very unusual times at we the moment. Living in very unusual times at the moment. Um, I wanted to start off by asking you, what have been your reflections of the, the impact that this pandemic has had on our country? I can't tell you how much I sympathise with the way everybody has had to endure this unbelievably testing and challenging time. And I, 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 I know that so many people have had the agony of losing you know, their loved ones and the bewilderment and anxiety that surrounds everything. We've agreed to speak with the Prince about his charities and public service. Prince Charles, the Prince of Wales. Growing up amid the adulation that royalty has always known, but also to unprecedented exposure to the public through the eye of newspaper and television cameras. I was always brought up, you know, to, to, to worry about uh, everybody else. This is the Prince of Wales. I do hope so. <laughs> and so... Uh, I, it is the most awful aspect of, of a pandemic like this, and, and yet we've seen at the same time people being quite remarkable and wonderful people in the National Health Service and all the other key workers who've kept everything going. What do you think it has taught us about our, our priorities, what, what really matters in life at the moment? I, I, I just felt that after all the things I've been doing in this country, uh, with setting up organisations and charities to try and deal with issues that I felt needed dealing with or weren't being dealt with, that perhaps you know, now is the time to try and do similar things in Canada. We have to put nature back at the centre of everything we do. Well, I mean, you could imagine it. Yeah, it's, it's slightly um, alarming and bewildering because uh, you know, I thought that I was just trying to point out that there were there were problems that were likely to arise if we went on that way. The more we expose ourselves to this kind of danger, and we've had these other disasters, you know, with um, SARS and Ebola and goodness knows what else, all of these things are related. If they witnessed, or sometimes they, people absorb things by osmosis, that in order to avoid even worse situations in the future and more disease and, and, and we have to we have to find a way to ensure that you know, within the next 10 years because otherwise we will lose this battle against accelerating climate change and, 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 and this and global warming because if we go on like this with temperatures rising inexorably then the whole of life becomes increasingly impossible you really want to give people a hug every now and then. It's been absolutely fascinating talking to you. Thank you very much um, for taking time. And hopefully we, we will all meet up again in, in the ways that, uh, that we usually do. So thank you very much, sir. I do hope so. <laughs> I was told that in the real world this couldn't be done. So anyway, I went away and did it. <laughs> and now it's suddenly become a bit more the thing. This is the Prince of Wales. I do hope so. <laughs> this is the Prince of Wales. I do hope so. <laughs> this is the Prince of Wales. I do hope so. <laughs>